I raised in the past? Okay, the whole picture was about 15 minutes, right? How much did I raise in 15 minutes? 50,000. 50,000. I want you to pause and think about it for a second. I raised $50,000 in 15 minutes. If you knew that skill, what would I do for you and your business? What's up, this is Elric Ong and today's video is about showing you how I was able to raise $50,000 within an hour. Alright, so basically I was doing a seminar yesterday. Uh, it was about one hour seminar and uh, the, the last 15 minutes of the seminar I started pitching, right? And then within 15 minutes, I raised about $50,000. Dollars, okay, so uh, total the, the whole thing was about a one hour seminar last 15 minutes was pitching and then the last 15 minutes was me raising the funds So if you want to go straight to the pitching and see how I pitched the deal you can go uh, to the to skip to about 35 minutes or 36 minutes around there and uh, you can see I, I start I start pitching from then on Yeah, so I recorded the whole process and um, I have it all on video, right? Um, okay, this is not Okay, I'm not recommending that you do any of this, right? Because if you are not trained to do it, uh, you can get into a lot of trouble. And um, make sure you do everything that's legal, that's ethical, that's moral. But I just want to show you that making money is really an idea, that making money is a formula, and it's really not that hard to make money because it's all about having knowledge. Knowledge helps you to make money. Understanding sales, marketing, and branding uh, helps you. Uh, are three of the higher are three of the high income skills that every entrepreneur I feel has to learn sales, marketing and branding so in this whole video I'll be breaking down exactly how the whole process was okay so T Half Acre says 80% of the success is showing up so I really want to congratulate all of you for showing up okay because to show up on a boxing day right it could be at home right to show up over here and spend this precious time together it, 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 it means the world to me and I'm going to make sure that I deliver so much value to you that you're going to feel that it's worth 10 times the time that, that you've invested over here. Alright? Okay, great. Now, so today I'm going to share with you the three secrets. The first secret I'm going to share with you is you can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than you can in a month selling normal products. Write that down. You can, right, 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 right. Secret number one now. You can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than you can in a month selling normal products. Okay? Secret number two is money is just a number. Money is just an idea. Write that down. Money is just a number. Money is an idea. I'm going to explain more later. Okay? And secret number three is it costs the same to close a $10,000 deal and a $200 deal. Okay? It costs the same to close a $10,000 deal and a $200 deal. Ready? Okay, great. So, um, who is Elric Ong? Okay, I know some of you uh, know me already, so I'm not going to go through my website and everything. Okay, now, is this for me? This will be for two types of people. Number one is you already have something to sell. If you, have already, if you already have something to sell, this workshop will be for you. If you don't have anything to sell yet, this workshop will also be for you. Okay? Now, so when you learn this skill, in three hours, I generated 6,000 plus. In three hours, because of this skill. Okay? In three hours, I generated 11,000 plus. In three hours, I generated about 15,000 plus. Okay? Let's pause and think about it for a second. $15,000 is what some people take a month or maybe three months to make. But once you learn these three skills, what are the three skills? What are the three skills? Sales, marketing, and? Branding, right? These three skills now. Sales, marketing, and branding. The moment you know these three skills, sales, marketing, and branding, the sky is the limit to how much income you can make. Okay? Sales, marketing, and branding. And the reason why I can make three hour, uh, 15,000 plus in three hours is because I picked up these skills. Okay? It's a highly, highly, it's a high income skill. Okay? Now, so here's what people don't know. Okay, these are like seven year old pictures. Huh? Okay, I know some of you might have seen these slides and I've that before, but I'm just going to repeat it for those of you who first time uh, seeing my presentation and everything. Okay? So here's what people don't know. Uh, these are my seven year old pictures. And since young, I wanted to learn how to make money. Okay? Since seven years old, I wanted to learn how to make money. How many of you have seen this book, Reach That Further, before? Raise your hand. Okay, Reach That Further. Huh? So I read this book when I was eight years old. Okay, Reach That Further, I read this book when I was eight years old. Okay? And um, this book, How You Can Get Richer Quicker by M.R. Cockney, I read it when I was 9 years old. So since young, I wanted to think, okay, how, what is assets, what is liabilities, how do I make money and all that kind of stuff. Okay? So since young, I really wanted to uh, make money. Okay? Now, but here's the thing, I got rejected by every single university. So until today, I don't have a degree. Okay? Until today, I, I've not been to a university before. Which means a lot of you are probably smarter than I am. Because a lot of you probably have gone for university already. Okay? NUS didn't want me, NTU didn't want me, SMU didn't want me, SUTD didn't want me, SIT didn't want me, SUS didn't want me. None of these universities want me. 
Okay? And my first time doing sales was doing this thing called cold calling. How many of you have done cold calling before? Raise your hand. Okay, so about half the room, right? So I don't know about your experience, but for me it sucked. Okay, I hated cold calling. Uh, every time I picked up the phone, right, I had, I had to like go through so much resistance and motivate, like I had to motivate myself and everything to pick up the phone just to call three or five people. Okay? So so it, it sucked, okay? And I used to think I sucked at sales. I used to think I sucked at sales. Okay. And after I worked at office job from 8am to 5.30pm every day okay, Let me show you why I hated my job uh, uh, I'm not a morning person okay? So my brain only looks at like 11am So from 8am all the way to 11am I'm like a zombie in the office okay? I have to put out an attitude of my superior So sometimes they're happy, they, they like you Sometimes they're not happy, they don't like you So I have to put out an attitude of my superior But the main reason why I hated my job Was because no matter how hard I worked My pay remained the same okay, write that down. When you work a job, no matter how hard you work Your pay remains the same and that's why, uh, and that's why, here's my coping mechanism when I was doing uh, my job. Uh. What I'll do, right, is whenever my superior tells me to do work, right, I will purposely do it slowly, or I will ask my colleague to do. Because if, if I do it very fast, right, they'll give me more work to do. But if I do it slowly, right, then they want to ask me more work. I say, hey, I still got work, I haven't finished yet. You get what I mean? Because at the end of the day, my pay remains the same. Does that make sense? That's my coping mechanism. Okay, now, so what I'm saying is this, if I can do it, you can too, and I'll show you how. How many of you want to see the three secrets? Ready? Okay, can I? Okay, now, so the three secrets. Okay, secret number one, you can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than you can in a month selling normal products. Write that down. You can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than you can in a month selling normal products. Okay, so I discovered this the hard way and you get to cheat and get the easy way, okay? Then you must make sure that your what doesn't wrong, huh? Okay, now, so I discovered this the hard way and you get to cheat and get the easy way, okay? Now, so the hard way is this, huh? Compete on price. Okay, like, oh, I do website, other people do website, they charge 3,000, I must charge 2,005, right? Compete on website. Uh, beg for referrals. A lot of people, ah, oh, hey, help me, hey, refer me. Uh, beg for opportunities. Hey, can you, uh, can you work together with me, please? I have a genuinely, you have to beg for opportunities, right? You have to pray that a client will suddenly appear. Like, hey, uh, when will my next client come? When will my next client come, right? And, okay, write this down. Cheap prices attract cheap customers. Write this down. Cheap prices attract cheap customers. If you want to have dream clients, you have to charge higher prices. Okay? Now, one of the easy way that I use? Yeah. Okay. So write this down. Charge high prices, find dream clients. Okay. One thing okay, last time I used to do a sales and marketing agency. And one thing I realized, right, was that when I run ads, right, whether I run for a person who has a five hundred dollar per month ad budget, right, or whether I run ads for someone who has a thirty thousand dollar per month ad budget, right, actually the work that I do uh, is about the same. Right? Just that one, I spend thirty thousand dollars on the hands. One, I spend five hundred dollars on the hands. Okay. One, I get paid. This, I get paid way more by doing the same amount of work. And do you think big corporate clients give me more problem, or small SME who don't have much cash and everything? Uh, every dollar matters so much to them. Who do you think give me more problem, the SME or the big corporates? SME, SMEs, right? It's the SMEs that give me the most problem, and they're paying me five hundred dollars. They expect the world, right? So I realized that hey, if I want to find dream clients, I must charge high prices and I'll find dream clients. And the more I mix with all these clients, the, the more their, their, energy, their energy rubs off on me, right? And the more uh, I, I get up to the momentum of success, right? Because if you always serve cheap clients, right? You always serve cheap clients. After a while, their mindset will rub off on you. Right? The poor mindset uh, will rub off on you. Okay? Right? So you have the average of five people they spend the most time with. Okay, you have the average of five people you spend the most time with. So if you hang out with five losers, you become a loser. If you hang out with five poor people, you become a poor person. If you hang out with five billionaires, sooner or later you become a billionaire. Okay? Now, so here's how I raised $30,000 with two Facebook posts. Okay, I know I've shown some of you these posts before, but I just want to go a little bit more in-depth today on how I raise these funds. Huh? So, okay, I was raising funds for my cosmetic business, Blush Boss, for my six-figure e-commerce business. Huh? So, I say, Sarah and I are looking for investors and strategic partners who want to grow BlushBoss.com together. Okay. Over here, I explain the benefits of investing in Blushbox. Why, be, why invest in Blushbox? Number one, be part of a six-figure uh, business. Number two, get behind the scenes of how we build our e-commerce business from scratch. Number three, for the girls, wouldn't it be nice to own a share of the cosmetic industry? Number four, for the guys, owning a cosmetic business gets you girls. Beauty and fashion are two of the largest industries for women. So I, I found every single way to sell the shares. Of, I'm selling the same product, the shares of my company, right? Why, why am I selling? What am I selling over here? The shares of my company, right? So I'm selling the same product, but I'm selling in different ways. Okay? But now with Sarah, I'm going to make profits together. We pay our dividends quarterly. The good thing about investing in a start is that there's a huge room for growth, which means a lot of profits uh, for you. And uh, the cosmetic industry is $24 billion and everything. Okay. So for those people, okay, so when I 
uh, raise the thirty thousand dollars, right? I asked each of my investors actually why you raise, uh, uh, why you invest in, in my business, right? So they all said different things. Okay, write this down. When Eric asked his investors why they want to invest in his business, they all said different things. Some people said, okay, I they want to invest because of the financial payout because I paid dividends quarterly. Okay, I didn't promise them a lot. Uh. I promised them fifty dollars every three months. So they pay five thousand. They put five thousand dollars. They get fifty dollars every three months, about two hundred dollars per year. Okay, yeah. But, but to them, it's good passive income, right? Because they don't have to work for anything. Okay, some for the financial fear. Some is because they want the ego of saying, hey, I'm a shareholder in a six-figure e-commerce business. Make sense? Okay, some, they invest money because they want a relationship with you. Would you agree that if you invest $5,000 but you have a deep relationship, Ellery, that is a pretty good investment? Would you agree? Which is an upside, would you agree? Right? So, so some of them, they invest because they want to like, kind of be like in my inner circle. Does that make sense? Okay, now. Some of them they invested right because they wanted to learn business. So I told them this: if you go for a business seminar, you'll pay five thousand, ten thousand dollars to go for a business seminar. Why not you invest in a cosmetic business? We'll show you behind the scenes of how you run a business, and then uh, it's more exciting from there. Okay. So some people invest right because uh, uh, it's like it's like betting on a horse. It's like if let's say you watch a soccer match, but you never win money, the soccer match now is exciting, true. But let's say you win a hundred dollars right to on Liverpool versus Man, Man United. Will you hope that Liverpool wins? Will you, will you agree? So some of them, they want the action. They want the action, that's why they invested. So that, those were the, the different reasons why they invested. Same thing, if let's say I want to sell a cup of water, I could sell, let's say I was to sell network marketing. The first way I sell network marketing is I sell the product. So I sell the health side of network marketing. Okay, write this down, those network marketing people. The second way I sell network marketing is if I want to sell the personal development and the learning side of network marketing. The third way I sell network marketing, I sell the opportunity, how we can make money from network marketing. Fourth way I sell network marketing is I sell them that, oh, you get to own a business. You get to be an entrepreneur right, when, you're, when you're joining network marketing. Make sense? Same thing, if I want to sell Facebook course, right, the first way I can sell is I want people to get more sales. Second is people want to be more famous. Third is people want to get more branded. Fourth is people want to make a side income, right? So there are many ways to sell the same product. Right, so there are many ways to sell the same product. So the question I was saying is how can we sell our product in different ways and how can we increase the intrinsic value of our product? Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, no? Okay, let me move on. So uh, I raised $15,000 in 3 days, 16, 17, and 18 April, right? And uh, I total raised about $30,000 with just two Facebook posts, okay? $15,000, $15,000, and together it's about $30,000 uh, similar Facebook posts, okay? Now, so in the past three months, okay, in the past three months, right, I sold over six figures worth of products and services, and I only work less than three hours a day, okay? I sold over six figures worth of products and services, and I only uh, have a seat somewhere here, huh? and I only work less than three hours a day. How many of you want to work less than 3 hours a day and be able to close more than 150k worth of uh, products and services? How many of you want to do that? That's a valuable skill that I have. Sorry? About 50%. Yeah. Okay. Now, so this is me making $50,000 in a weekend. Huh? So if I were to give them six thousand dollars, they also wouldn't want their money back. They would rather invest that two thousand dollars to learn the things that I shared with them, like how to write a book, how to build their own website, how to run Facebook ads, how to get leads, how to get clients, and all that kind of stuff. Because the value, we agree. Uh, Ozan, you paid for the course, right? Yes. We agree that the value is worth way more than right. the price I've charged. Hmm. We agree. Yeah. So so that's what they say. Okay, now. But here's the thing, huh? Do they want to give you some paradigm shifts? Okay. Any coach, any normal speaker can give you information. Information is you go Google, you can go for it. You can get information. But paradigm shifts is something that if I can give you a paradigm shift, if, if I could just shift your mindset a little, maybe five percent or just one percent, if I could give you that sh paradigm shift and I could serve you that way, it will give you quantum leaps. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but this requires commitment. Okay. This requires what? Commitment. Okay. Now, so this is like the matrix, sir. Huh? You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Okay. But you take the red pill, 
you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. And remember, all I'm offering you is the truth. So now you can choose. Do you want the blue pew or do you want the red pew? Who wants the blue pew? Who wants the red pew? Raise your hand. Okay. Who wants the red pew? Say yes. 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 Can you make a commitment? Okay. So okay, here's the commitment. Huh? Okay, everyone repeat after me. I commit. I commit. That as soon as I realize. Yes. That selling high ticket, selling high ticket is, the is the key to 10x my income. I will go all in. I will go what? I will go what? I will go all in. Okay, so we're going to go all in the moment we know that selling high ticket is the way to go. Make sense? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, now, so at the end, of, at the end I'm going to make you a very special offer. Okay, I'm going to make you a very special offer. So I'm going to share you a lot of secrets, right? And at the end, I'm going to make a very special offer. But and this will give you everything you need to 10x your income in the next 12 months. Would that be good? Yes. Okay. But here's the thing, huh? I'll be asking you for $10,000, okay? So I'll be asking each of you for $10,000 at the end of this whole presentation. Make sense? Okay. So that brings me to secret number two, right? This one, money is just a number. Money is an idea. Okay, when I flash $10,000 like that, how many of you will believe it? $10,000, that's a lot of money. How many of you can believe it? How many of you got ten thousand dollars a lot of money? Okay, let's let's hear. Okay, you got ten thousand dollars was a lot of money. Okay, so let me share you what's ten thousand dollars. Okay, this is is this a lot of money? This is a note, a Singapore dollar note of ten thousand dollars. How many of you have ever seen a note like that before? One, two, three, four, five. You have seen a ten thousand dollar note before. Okay, a lot of people they only play with fifty dollars or maximum hundred dollars. Most of them they have never played with a ten thousand dollar note before. Okay now, but let me ask you a question now. Would you buy this Ferrari car? For ten thousand dollars. Yes. Yes. Okay. So right, this now. It is not about the price. It is about the value. Right, this now. It is never about price. It is always about value. <laughs> now, who here doesn't have the ten thousand dollars to buy this Ferrari? Who here doesn't have? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So for those of you who don't have the money, what 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 do you think you should do? Borrow money. Wait, borrow money. money. Back money. Okay. Right, this now. If you don't have ten thousand, okay. Right, this now. The difference between rich mentality and poor mentality, right? It's not rich versus poor mentality, right? It's not somewhere rich versus poor mentality. Poor people think I don't have the money. Full stop. Rich people think how can I get the money? Question mark. What's the difference between these two statements? One is a. One is a what? One is a. One is a statement, right? One is a statement. I don't have the money. Full stop. Give up. I don't have the money, right? I don't look for solutions. One is how can I get the money? Make sense? Yep. You see the difference? Okay, I remember. Okay, let me share with you. Uh. So last time I joined Network Marketing, right? Okay, some of you know I joined Network Marketing. I built a team of 140 people in 10 months, right? First, first month in Network Marketing, I made about $7,000. Fourth month in Network Marketing, I was already making five figures, about 11000 plus, right? Okay, now. but to join the Network Marketing required me to invest $13,000. $13,000. At that point of time, I was 19 years old. I didn't have $13,000. I only had about $4,000 in my bank, okay? But the I think, I don't have the money to stop or the other thing, how can I get money? Question mark. What do you think I ask? How, 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 can, I, how, how can I get the money? So this is what I did. Uh, I tried to look for investors to invest in me and everything. Okay? Now, but finally, okay, but investors were very willing to invest in me because they know that I'll easily be able to make that $30,000 back and return them even with uh, interest and everything. Okay? So uh, it was easy to get investors. Okay? But at the end of the day, uh, after that, I borrowed uh, $9,000 from my mom okay, uh, to invest in a business. And because I invested $13,000, right, because I knew, okay, my mentor is someone who started when he was 19 or so. By the time he was 21, right, he made almost a million dollars in network marketing, about $800,000. That's about $30,000 per month, okay? So because I knew that if I follow him, right, and I follow his system, and I follow his proven success, right, I'll be able to make the same amount of money, right? So, so I went all in, okay? I didn't have money, I borrowed, and I went all in, okay? $13,000, I remember when I hold the $13,000 cash, Okay, not what I have is cash ah. But I hope the thirteen thousand dollars cash. When you feel that cash in your hands, right, that's a different kind of power. When you feel that cash, and I pass it to my mentor, right, is passing in the cash and saying, I trust that investing in you, investing in myself through you, is the correct decision. I trusted that, and because I made that commitment, okay, because I made that commitment to say yes, that's why my first mind network that I made seven k, the fourth mind network I made about ten eleven k. How many of you agree 7k a month for a 19 year old is pretty good? For a first mind network, how many of you agree it's pretty good? You know why? Because I made a commitment and I went turbo mode. I went turbo mode. I, 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 I went all out. Okay? Let me get another example. 
So I, I went to Australia to okay. Uh, there was one time I saw a Facebook ad by JD Fox. Okay, to uh, to say he wants to look for speakers. Okay, he wants to teach people how to be speakers. But the thing was all the way in Australia. Okay, most people they are like, hey, if the thing is all the way in Australia, how to go all the way in Australia, right? But for me, uh, I knew since young, since like primary four, ten years old, I really knew I wanted to be a speaker. I knew that when I grew up, I wanted to be a speaker. Okay, so when I saw that, it something resonated with me so deeply. Okay. What I did, right? The next day after I saw the ad, I booked an ticket to fly all the way to Australia. Okay, go there. Okay, uh, leave Singapore at twelve midnight. Reach there at five pm. The seminar start at eight am. Eight am to six pm was the seminar. One day seminar. Then at ten pm, I flew back to Singapore. One day. Okay, I didn't stay in a hotel there. I flew all the way there just for the seminar. Is that pretty crazy? Yes. But because I said yes, because I made that decision to say yes, because I said yes. The moment I came back, every seminar I do conduct, I make four thousand to twelve thousand dollars at every seminar. Because the skill sets I picked up, and because somehow the universe knows that when you're willing to make that kind of commitment, okay, when you're willing to make that kind of commitment for yourself for your life, right? When you're willing to make that kind of commitment, right? You just attract a different kind of energy. Does that make sense? You start attracting a lot of clients to you that if you don't have that kind of conviction, right, you cannot attract. Yeah, how many of you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ah. Uh? Okay. So I just I say I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all in. Are you, are you going to go what? All in. I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all in. You really must go all in, okay? Right? Uh, not seven upon ten all in. All in is not uh, three. I'm going to go all in. No, all in. Is, I'm going to go all in. Okay, okay. So I, everyone, please stand up. Everyone, please stand up. Okay. I want you to high five five people around you, okay? With ten upon ten energy. How many upon ten? Singapore, right? they printed this thing called banana. And the Japanese government said this. 
This is money, let this be so. Can you exchange products and services with this last time? Yes. Yes, yes right. Can you buy bread with this last time? Yes. yes. But now you have to try buying bread with this, will people accept? No. no. Okay, what? The reason why is this? Huh? Okay, write this up. Money is an idea. Write this up. Money is an idea. The only thing that makes money valuable is our belief that money is valuable. Right? Now, the money is an idea. The only thing that makes money valuable is our belief that money is valuable. The moment, okay, means, uh, okay, let's say I got fifty dollars note, correct? Right? Okay, means this person is willing to give me a massage for fifty dollars. Okay. Now, if to if if okay, okay, so the only okay, and the reason why he's willing to give me a massage for fifty dollars is because he knows he takes fifty dollars, right? He can exchange for a bread. And the, bread, the baker knows that if he takes the $50 note, he can exchange for, for something, right? So the only thing that makes money valuable is our belief that money is valuable. Okay. If one day, all of us in this room do not believe that, ma- that, as, that money is valuable anymore, will you still exchange your products and services for my money? No. No, right? So let's say I exchange banana notes for your products and services. Will you give to me? No. No, right? Because the money has lost its value. Okay, let me give you an example. Back in World War II, okay, Great Depression. So the Germany, uh, they were facing depression, right? So they printed a lot of German marks. Okay, to buy a loaf of bread requires a million marks. German, you need to have a briefcase of money uh, to buy a loaf of bread because no one wants to exchange their products and services for, for their money anymore. So the money will completely lose its value. Okay, every currency, right? Ninety-nine percent of the currency that's ever existed, right, does not exist anymore. It is worthless now. Okay, so uh, the only thing that makes money, money is our belief, belief that money is valuable. So the mo- so why you think this fifty dollar note is money? Uh? like nowadays, uh, when I when I make a purchase or something, right, I get very detached from money because I understand it's just a number, it's just a piece of paper, and I'm surprised right, that the, the kopi uncle is willing to take my one dollar coin to exchange and give me kopi. I'm, but, but, but because I know that, you know, like, like I start becoming like, hey, oh, okay, so this is just a tool for exchange. Does that make sense? So the moment you understand this, right, you won't hold on to money so much anymore. Because you realize, right, that, the, that this, the only thing, the only reason why you feel is so valuable is because you have already been conditioned that this is money. Make yeah. sense? Once all of us feel that it is not money, this is not money anymore. Okay, can I? Okay, now. This one, Grant Cardone say, cash is trash, okay? Okay, but write this up. Money is only useful when we use it or invest it, right? This up. Money is only useful when we use it or invest it. Money is only useful when we use it or invest it, okay? When you put money in the bank, what does the bank do with the money? They invest it. They, they, they reinvest it, they lend it out, correct? So you think that, hey, I got $10,000 in the bank. No way. You only have about $2,000 in bank. $8,000 of your $10,000 is being loaned out. Make sense? Okay. So, all these numbers, right, it's, just, it's basically just the numbers of the bank and everything. Do you understand how money is really just a number? It's money is just a, an idea. Okay? But we can exchange for products and services with money because everyone else still believes that money is money. Okay? Got it? Hannah? Okay. So, the moment you have this paradigm shift, you look at the world very differently. For once, you will see the truth. How many of you are starting, like, you kind of feel like a little bit of change in your body already? How many of you kind of feel a little bit, like a 1%, 5% shift? Okay, yeah. right? so about half of you kind of feel like, eh? Hey. Okay, so I've been conditioned that, eh, hey, the only thing I miss. And how many of you feel a little bit uncomfortable raising your hand? Uncomfortable? One, two. So you feel a bit uncomfortable, it's like taking the pill, right? The moment you see for what it is, then you're like, oh. okay, so, so this is money because the government says that this is worth money. So the moment maybe the government change or something, or maybe they change another currency, uh, they say, okay, from now on, Singapore use USD. They don't use Singapore dollar. Will Singapore dollar still be worth, worth anything? Not really, yeah? Uh. Okay. So, and you'll be making money on turbo moon, okay? You'll be making money on turbo moon the moment you understand this. Okay, now, so this Anthony Lee, uh, okay, he went for my $500 uh, Facebook coaching and all that, right? After the coaching, uh, he raised 100000 plus dollars after the course. How many of you agree? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, huh? Okay. So he's, I say, how's your business going? He said, yesterday just on the property, we already raised 100k. Now need another 400k. Really putting Apollo method to good use. Apollo method is a method I show you in the five sense all the five stuff. How many of you know the Apollo method? Okay, have you practiced it? Uh, never practiced, huh? Okay. So you practice, you get discount results. Okay? Okay, now, okay, secret number three is it costs the same to close a $10,000 deal and a $200 deal. Right, is not? It costs the same to close a $10,000 deal and a $200 deal. It 
cost the same to close a $10,000 deal and a $200 deal. Okay? Okay, now, so this is my mom. I spent $150 in Facebook ads, correct? Uh, for her health talk. And the total sales generated, right, was $13,000 in three hours. Three hours she generated $13,000 for health talk. Within three hours, if she's at 86 times hour, and my $150 in Facebook ads becomes 86 times. Okay? The reason she can sell $13,000 is because every sleeping system is 3006 Every pillow she sells is $300. A pillow, eh? Pillow, eh? People buy pillow for $20, eh? My mom sells for $300, and she has sold thousands of pillows already, few days, right? Be yeah. So, okay, now that you understand that uh, what makes money valuable is stuff, you know, right? Then the question is, is uh, can, we make, can we make something more valuable? Can we increase the intrinsic value of a product or service by making someone believe that this product is more, more is valuable? Can we? Can, uh, right? Like diamonds. Last time diamonds is not valuable at all. Eh? No one wanted diamonds. The only reason why diamonds were so valuable was because they came out with this marketing slogan and said, a diamond lasts forever. Okay? DBS, it was an advertisement. It's known as the big, best advertising campaign in the 19th century. Okay, write this down. A diamond lasts forever. This was DBS, D -E -B -E -R -S, uh, advertising campaign in the 19th century. Right? So now, right, all the girls feel, wow. Well, so uh, if you buy a diamond for me, that means you love me. Right? So now, right, okay, the guys want to buy the diamond, but the girls, are, the girls are like, hey, buy a diamond for me, eh? If you, if you buy a diamond for me, it means that your love for me lasts forever, because a diamond lasts forever, right? <laughs> when your wife asks you to buy a diamond for her, can you say no? Cannot, <laughs> Even the diamond, $10,000 you start to buy, right? So what happened was they, they okay, it was a lot of things like they, they, they bring down the supply of diamond, they increase the price of diamond. After that, last time diamond, right, you maybe $100 for a diamond. After that, diamond comes $1,000, $10,000. What made diamond valuable? Supply demand. Supply demand, but what made diamond valuable? Okay. Our belief okay. that diamond was valuable. The moment we all don't believe that diamond is valuable, it just becomes a stone. Make yeah. sense? Okay, huh? okay, now, so I did this workshop, right? It's 400 dollars in spending ads, and then in three hours, you about 11,000 bucks. That's about a 20, 20x ROI. Okay, 20 times ROI, uh, because I learned how to sell high ticket. Okay, because I know how to sell high ticket. Okay, now, so let's say you write ads to get leads, uh, okay, just write, just copy this. Uh, if it costs you $50 per lead, right, whether you sell a $200 product or you sell a $10,000 product, right, your cost per appointment is still $50. True? True? So let's say you sell a $200 product, you make a four times ROI. You sell a, a $10,000 product, your cost, your ROI, 2000, 200 times, right? So let's say uh, I sell this guy $10,000, right, but maybe my closing rate is lesser or something. But it's a 200 times ROI, right? Would you rather sell low ticket or high ticket? High ticket, high ticket right? And to be honest, to understand how to sell high ticket, you must understand first that money is just a number, money is an idea. And in order to sell high ticket, first also we must learn, uh, we must understand how it feels like in a buyer's shoes to, to do high ticket. Does that make sense? Okay, nah? okay nah. So this is Ozan, right? Okay, so a lot of you know Ozan. Nah? Uh, he spent $5 in ads, he got 3 new customers. $5 US dollars in ads, he got 3 new customers. That's really good, huh? Okay. Then he, he talked to the Grab driver. After he talked to the Grab driver, follow the Apollo method, 5 steps consultation process, next day, sell a $3,000 website package to the Grab driver. Hey, Grab driver, eh? sit on the Grab, also can close sales. Once you learn this skill set, you can go anywhere, you become like a magnet for money. Because once you know how to fish, it, once you know how to fish, in China, is it the same fish? In America, is it the same fish? Human psychology is always the same. If, you can sell, if I can sell in Singapore, I can sell in Malaysia. So why is this English? Uh? I can sell in Malaysia, I can sell in the Philippines, I can sell in America. I can, this skill set will bring me anywhere. Make sense? It's like, okay, what? Okay, write this down. Learning how to sell is like having income on demand. Write this down. Learning how to sell is like having income on demand. Anytime I want to make more money, I just think, okay, bring a pool of people. Sell them a five hundred dollar uh, Facebook course, make money. Make sense? Yeah. Once you are able to sell, it's an like income on demand. Okay, now so Ozan's income increased from ten thousand dollars per month to thirty thousand dollars per month uh, after going to my two-day course, right? Uh, how many agree that's pretty good? Within three months, how many agree a three times in income increase is pretty good? How many agree? Right? Let's give Ozan a round of applause. Yeah. Great. And now he's a Facebook coach as well, right? So now he's not just. It's not, it's not just his income increasing, but he's serving more people by having this skill set. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's why I feel that coaching is something so powerful because it's like, it's like if I light you up 
And if he can light you up, if he can light you up, if he can light you up, then we agree after a while the world becomes a much better place. Can we create a world where everyone wins? How many of you agree coaching is a pretty good business? Right? It's a business. How many of you agree it's a pretty noble and you know, it's something that like it's like us being beings of light, like lighting the world one person at a time. Make sense? Yeah. I know it sounds a little bit, but, 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 but that's how I see. That's how I see. Because I know once I give Oza this skill set, uh, I cannot take it away from him. Uh, he have it means he have it already. Right? If tomorrow you ask him, hey Oza, try to don't sell, he cannot buy. Because he already knows how to sell. Does that make sense? Yeah. He already knows how to brand himself, he already knows how to market. How many of you have seen Ozan's Facebook page recently? Right? 4,000 plus likes and everything, right? You have seen his website and everything? Pretty good, yeah? So, I want you to have this skill set with you for life. Okay? Okay, now, so I shared the three secrets, okay? Secret number one is you can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than you can in a month selling normal products. Secret number two, money is just a number, money is an idea. Secret number three, it costs the same to close a $10,000 deal and a hundred and a $200 deal. Okay? Wrote down all three secrets? Yes. Okay, so now, now then the question is how to sell. Okay, I'm going to give you the roadmap on how to sell. Okay, I'm going to give you the roadmap on how to sell. Okay, the first thing you must learn is instant report. You must learn how to build a report with people, then you can sell. Second thing you need to learn is the pitch. Okay, I'll go this more in depth later. Okay, I'll go through each one more in depth. You must learn how to pitch. Because once you learn how to pitch, right, you can raise $100,000, $200,000 easily the moment you learn how to pitch. Okay? The third thing you must know is how to close sales. You must know things like social calibration, straight line persuasion, all this kind of stuff in order to be able to sell. Okay? Fourth thing is you must transform yourself as a person. Okay? Being a good salesperson requires a new identity. Because if you are a salesperson that only sells tissue paper, you'll always be a tissue paper salesperson. But if you know how to sell tissue paper the right way, the boss of Kleenex uh, is a $10 million company. So it's not about what you're selling, it, it's how you sell it. Boss of a tissue paper company also can be a $10 million company. It's not what you sell, it's how you sell it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, and a bonus, okay? Now, so here's, here's what I'm gonna offer you, okay? I'm going to offer you right, an opportunity to invest in Eric's coaching business. Let's give that a round of applause. Okay? <laughs> where all of you can invest in my coaching business. Would that be good? Yes. How many yes. think that's going to be pretty exciting? Raise your hand. Yeah. Right? Okay, how many of you want to hear what I have to say? Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how, how it's going to be like. Okay? Whoever wants to invest in my business, and we can work together closely, right? And then uh, we can scale this business uh, globally. Okay? Now, so um, it's gonna be five thousand dollars per lot. Just write that down. Five thousand dollars per lot. I'm only looking for a maximum of ten lots. Okay, so I'm gonna raise fifty thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars per lot. Looking for a maximum of ten lots. Okay, fifty thousand dollars. Each lot is zero point five percent of the company. Okay, so let me let me explain you how this works. Out. Okay, now so let's say okay so let's say you own zero point five percent of my company. Okay. I pay dividends quarterly. It means every three months I'll pay you dividends. Okay, so this is how it works, huh? 0.5%. Okay, now if let's say I make a hundred thousand dollars in the last three months, how much will I pay on dividends? Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. <coughs> every quarter. One year, how much will I pay? Two thousand. Two thousand. No, quarter. Sorry, sorry. Two thousand, right? So I'll pay out two thousand dollars per year in dividends. Okay, here's how, how it goes, huh? So let's say you buy a lot in my company, okay, you buy a lot in my company, right? You own 0.5% of my company. Okay, I know Len is an accountant there, okay? Let me just, uh, let, let me do my pitch, okay? Okay, so okay, take your accounting brain away for a while first, okay? Just watch how I pitch, huh? Okay, so, um, so here, here's how, so, here, so here's how, what's gonna happen, huh? Means you own 0.5% of the company, okay? Let's say next time my income increase to a million dollars every quarter, about $300,000 a month. Let's say my income, because, Success resources invited me to speak, and then there are so many students, everyone promote, if everyone promote together, this will really scale, right? Okay, let's say next time this whole coaching business makes a million dollars a month. How much will you make up every quarter? Three million. No, no, sorry. Four times. Five 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 times. So every quarter, so now you invest how much? Five thousand, right? But next time when I grow to a million dollars every three months, you will make five thousand dollars every quarter. One year you'll make 20k from a $5,000 investment. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So let's say uh, you own 0.5% of my company. Okay. You can take a few lots, uh, you can take maximum. Okay. For example, maximum 4 lots per person. Maximum 4 lots per person. I'm not looking for too many lots. Okay. I'm looking maximum 4 lots per person. Okay. So maximum you can invest is 20k. Okay. 
So let's say you, you get the shares, uh. okay, let's say you get the shares, uh. okay. let's say next time you need cash urgently, okay? So, it, so long as you hold on to the shares, every quarter you get dividends. If let's say you want to sell the shares, right? So let's say I let's say uh, I don't want, I, I don't own the shares anymore. I don't own zero point five percent. I can sell the shares to Ozan. If Ozan is willing to buy my shares for six thousand dollars, he will buy my shares for six thousand dollars. Make sense? If he's willing to buy my shares for ten thousand dollars, he will buy my shares for ten thousand dollars. That means my five thousand dollars now will become how much? Ten thousand dollars. Which means I made the dividends and everything. Let's say one year later that I sell. So I made this five hundred dollars four times already, yeah, right? I made this dividend, I already get $2,000 back. And I still sell Ozan $5,000. He still, let's say he, he buy for five thousand or let's say he buy for $10,000. I'll make the $2,000 plus the capital appreciation. Does that make sense? Okay, but if let's say Ozan is willing to only buy at $1,000 and I'm willing to sell at $1,000, uh, then it come $1,000. Uh. Does it make sense? Okay, so so long as you feel that I, this business will grow, okay? Right, don't look at what it is right now. Okay, okay. open here. Uh, I make about 20 to 30 k per month. Okay. Normally in a weekend, I make about 20k in net profit, 50k in sales. Okay, how to make 50k in sales? I just get 50, uh, 25 students to sell my social media marketing accelerator course. Each one pay 2k. That's 50k in sales. One weekend, I make 50k in sales. Okay, so uh, so so that will be how it how it goes. Make sense? So this is how it goes up. Huh? So the maximum is uh, the maximum you can invest is 20k. Okay, maximum. Uh, okay. Why invest in Eric? Number one, increase the impact you can create to the world. Okay, you know, here's what I always believe about. Uh, why I, I get, okay, the, the, the thing is I don't really need cash. Okay, I've got a lot of cash myself. I don't really need cash. But why am I, invest, uh, why am I asking you all for investment? It's because of this. Uh, because we agree that when you bet on a horse, you want that horse to win, right? If let's say you invested $5,000, will you refer more clients to this business? Because now, okay, write this down. When you want to scale a business, you must turn I win into we win. Write this down. If you want to scale a business, you must turn I win and to we win. It's like when Jack Ma, when Jack Ma pitch 18 to 18 uh, Lohans, right? They call it eight, the 18 um, people in his team in 1991 or 2001, I can't remember. Okay. But when he pitch, right, it's not just Jack Ma winning alone. Every single one of the shareholders in Jack Ma's team after his IPO became a millionaire. Make sense? So let's say maybe next time I build this company at $20 million, your investment will fit 20 times. Make sense? Yeah, no? So number one, you can increase the impact you can create to the world. Because if more people invest, that means you have more resources to run Facebook ads and everything. Whenever I run Facebook ads, my ROI is about eight times. Okay, it pay you a zero point. It is I can easily pay up there. Okay, I have a lot of cash myself. I'm financially healthy. Okay, so number one, you can increase the impact to the world. Because with more cash and with more people on board sharing the same vision. Okay, with more people on board sharing the same vision, we agree we can impact more lives. We agree. Raise your hand if you agree. We can impact more lives, right? So you can impact more life, you can serve more people. Okay. Number two is good financial payout. 0.5% is pretty good. You get 0.5% of all my companies. You don't need to do anything. Eh. Don't get your sleeping partner and everything. Every quarter is paid. Okay? Uh, you can partner up and work closely with me, right? Because when you are my investor, uh, we work very closely together. Okay? And number four, you can be a shareholder of a coaching business. So you can say, hey, I'm Eric's partner. Hey, $5,000 for the bragging rights to say, hey, I'm Eric's partner. Worthy of what do you know? You can say, hey, I'm the same level as Ellery, right? How would that help your brand? Oh, my business is a holdings company and I hold some shares in Ellery's coaching business. Would that increase your branding as well? Yes, sir. And you can learn more about running businesses because you get the behind the scenes of how you run a business. And this, right, will really show you exactly the ins and outs of running a business. What is events? What is marketing? What is sales? What is branding? Okay? Okay, now, so, okay, like Gary Vaynerchuk, Richard Branson, Mark Cuban, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Larry Page, Elon Musk, Bill Gates. Do you think when they first ask for investment, do you think anyone believes in them? No one. But those that be believe in them, what happened? If you invested in Amazon back in 1996, right now you'll be a millionaire. Easily. Right? So, so um, okay, write this down. If you bet the right hand, you win once. But if you follow the right leader, you follow the right platform, you win for a lifetime. Okay. Even if you don't have uh, five thousand dollars and everything, you can borrow, right? You can get a loan from the bank. You can uh, there, there are many ways. If you want to raise cash, I'll show you how to raise cash. Okay, there's so many ways to raise cash. You can you can uh, insurance policy. There's so many ways to raise cash. There's so many ways to unlock cash. There's so much money all over the world. You just need to know how to unlock it. It's always our limiting belief preventing us from raising cash. Okay. 
Okay, so our mission is to empower people to become the best versions of themselves, and our vision is to create a world where everyone wins. Okay, I know that if one day I can create a world where everyone wins, right? you know, where we can create products and services where everyone wins, the buyer wins, the seller wins, the affiliate wins, the platform wins, everyone wins, right? we can, where we can truly create a world where everyone wins, right? I think the world will be a better place. And if I, if I, if I were to die after having this vision for you, I'll know that my life is worth it. Okay? Now, so let's go all in, okay? So together we can create a world where everyone is okay. So this is what's going to happen now. This is what's going to happen. Okay. How many of you have a little bit of interest in this already? Raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, okay, one. Okay. So those of you who have interest in this, okay, what, what we're gonna do is this, huh? We're gonna take a 15 minute break. Okay. Later on I'm gonna cover more content. I'm gonna cover more content and I'm also gonna show you uh, what, what we're gonna cover in a two-day workshop and uh, in a one-day workshop and everything. Okay. Now for those of you who are interested, I'm gonna pass this around, okay? Uh, those of you who are interested, okay, over here you put your name. Okay, over here you write down your name. Over here you write down the number of lots that you want. Maximum four. Okay? So you can write down two. If you want to invest 10,000, you can write maximum two. Everything's in SGD, yeah? And then over here, write the total value of the lot. So let's say one lot is how much? 5,000. Two lots is how much? 10,000. Three lots? 15. Four lots, 20,000. Okay? Uh, the minimum sum is uh, five lots. Okay? Uh, it is 5,000 because I cannot be splitting like I pass you a $10 dividend. You know? <laughs> I'd rather just pass. You get I me? Mean? I cannot do a too small uh, transaction size. Okay? So, um, okay. so, so we're going to take a 15 minute break. Okay? You all can uh, feel free to go to the restroom and everything. We come back at about 8.30. What time? 8.30. At 8.30, okay, uh, you must do within these 15 minutes. Those of you who want, you must do within these 15 minutes, okay? There's no, like, oh, there's a touch, you know? Like, opportunities come once, okay? If the 10 lots are used up, 10 lots are used up, okay? So, at uh, 8, 8.30, you'll come back, and then we're going to cover more content about sales, uh, marketing, and branding, okay? So, 8.15, right now, now it's about 8.15, uh, and then 8.30, you can come back, and what? Okay, now, so, uh, yeah, so those of you who want to invest, you just put your name, uh, yeah, you just write down your name, how many lots you want, and the uh, transaction size. Okay, any questions? I'll be here to answer questions. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. so the bad news is that, um, so okay, okay, okay. so the, the bad news is that I'm not raising funds. Okay, I'll show you a few reasons why I'm not raising funds. Okay, because number one, if I were to value my company at only a million dollars, it is too bad a deal for me and too good a deal for you. Does that make sense? Really, really. Like, if you invest in a stock market, uh, you get 8% per year in returns, right? It's very good. Eh? If let's say I just make 10k per month, 30k per month, uh, per, per quarter, uh, and, you have, and you make $600 per year, uh, that's already a uh, 15% returns. Uh, it's, 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 it's a crazy investment. Like, I, I need to value my company at, at least $10 million for it to make sense for me to give away my company. Does that make sense? Okay. So, um, that's what. And number two is because my company will grow. So if let's say I only put a million dollar valuation now, and then my company grows, that's why Len is smart. Because she understands this, she's smart. So she's the first one to take action. And she's a very analytical person and everything, Len brain person. Huh? So she's smart to take the investment, okay? So for those of you who say yes, okay, give yourself a round of applause. Okay? <laughs> but it's a huge learning lesson now, it's a huge learning lesson. How much did I raise in the past? Okay, the whole picture, was about 15 minutes, correct? How much did I raise in 15 minutes? 50,000. 50,000. I want you to pause and think about it for a second. I raised $50,000 in 15 minutes. If you knew that skill, what would that do for you and your business? $50,000. But what's the thing? $50,000 is what some people take a year to do. Now, when you learn these three skills, what are the three skills? Selling, marketing, and branding. Sales, marketing, and branding. You can make that in 15 minutes. Okay? $50,000. That's what some people think. Yeah. Okay. Now, so, so okay, a, a few, a few uh, lessons you can learn from that. Okay? For those of you who took action, that's a smart thing to do. Okay? A very, very smart thing to do. Right? And those of you, right? Okay, okay, let, okay let's, let's have a bit of sharing session. How do you feel throughout the whole exercise? Okay, who, okay, I, I just want to know who wanted to invest but you were scared. That's why it stopped you. Raise your hand. Scared? Yeah, who, who, was, who wanted to invest but was scared? One, two, but you invested in the end, huh? you were scared. Okay, okay, now. Who wanted to invest but got no money? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Okay, now, first of all, money is a mindset. Money is a mindset. 
Whenever you think you got no money, right, it's because we, it's, it's, it's never because you got no money. Right? If you really know how to look, right, you don't look at your bank balance, you look at everything, you understand that, hey, there's a lot of money. Right? Okay? Because money is just a belief. Money is just a, a form of exchanging value. Right? So, um, okay, so what determines the price of something? What someone is willing to sell for, what someone is willing to buy for. I'm willing to, if I was willing to sell 0.5% of my company for $5,000, then, then, then how much will the value? Okay, let, pause and think about it for a second. Huh? If I sell 0.5% of the company for, uh, for $5,000 uh, and I raise $50,000, uh, that means that my whole company, 100% of my company is worth how much? $1 million. $1 million. Okay, that means I own 99, uh, 95% of a million dollar company. Straight away, my net worth will shoot up uh, to 950000 What determines the price of something, what someone is willing to buy for, and what someone is willing to sell for. Okay? I mean, there's a lot of things like discounted cash flow model and how we evaluate the company, how much assets the company owns and everything. But at the end of the day, the core of something, what determines the value of my coaching? If let's say I'm willing to sell a one-on-one -on -one coaching for $2,000 and someone's willing to buy my one-on-one -on -one coaching for $2,000 for one hour, is my coaching work two thousand dollars per one hour? Yes, yes sir. It's okay. Nowadays, if people ask me for two hundred dollars per hour coaching one on one, I won't do it because if I did a seminar, I will make four thousand to twelve thousand dollars. I won't do a one on one coaching for two hour, uh, for two hundred dollars, right? So I'm not willing to sell my coaching at two hundred dollars anymore. I'm only willing to sell my coaching at either a video cost hundred dollars or a uh, two day cost two thousand dollars, right? So, so uh, what determines the price of something? What someone is willing to buy for and what someone is willing to sell for, right? Yeah. Yeah. What determines the price of something? Is what someone is willing to buy for and what someone is willing to sell for. So if let's say I raise $50,000, that means 10 people agree that I am worth a million dollars. If I can get 100 people to agree that I'm worth a million dollars, ah, then it's, I'm, I'm really worth a million dollars. If I can get the whole market to agree that Facebook is worth 60 something billion dollars, then Facebook is worth 60 something billion dollars. Make sense? Okay? Okay. So, okay. Um, Okay, this will be a very good sharing session. Okay, I want you to share some insights about what you have learned about yourself. Okay, so, so this, this whole thing is nothing, huh? Okay? So you tell this whole thing, okay? Nothing, nothing. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no,